Now we're setting up the fur now. And putting this in before we finish the white ruffle running round. And what I'm doing is using the grey, quite strong. You also have noticed I put a bit of grass in. I'll show you how to do that with the other leg. That needs to be quite solid because that's going to be very dark. Okay, now what about that? <coughs> well, what I've done there is I've used the 175. We would have had to use it anyway, it was very dark. So by putting that in, you now can see where the chest area is. If I hadn't put that in, you wouldn't have been able to see it. But from there onwards, you can use the grey. I would, certainly wouldn't use black, but 175 is okay. Now, what about this? Now, this grass here is a little further back because, like that, the leg's a little bit further back. So, put a bit of. I've used a bit of white here, and I shall here, but back here, you don't really want white because it's going to be more in shadow. Just put a bit of grass in. You don't have to finish it off. It's just there, so that we can gauge how much leg or this is going to be showing, in which case none, because this grass is quite long. Uh, let me just do this and then I'll take you through this next bit. I'll uh, just do this too. Once I've shown you this, I can then proceed with the rest of that uh, off camera and show you the bits as we go along. OK, now we have the plan in, in mind now. What we're going to do now is use the grey, that's the 270, to go over the top of that white ivory I was put in there. And the only exception to that rule is here, where we have light again hitting it. So here we will have lighter fur, if you're with me. And that will be like that. And then we'll put some grey in there as well. And we can pick that up a little later. But the important thing is we've got the grey there. So let's bring the grey up here now, because this is where we want to have the dark, like that, continuing. And if we were to use the 175 now here, and again you've got to look, feel as though you're going up into the light for preempting. design this. Also, we've got to come back the other way. some of the 175 in to the white. Except there. Okay. 
Okay, now we use our color shaper. Scary this, isn't it? But you know how much you can bring back. And if you've got the white underneath, you can always bring it back. Fantastic. Right. Uh, let's just do that. Bring the white back. And this time the white will not be bright. I think this is quite amazing. I've been doing this for quite a long time, this sort of technique. But I'm always amazed at how well it actually responds. Pastel pencils respond to it. I think what I'm going to do will bring that up a little higher. Like that. Because that's what it looks like on my picture pictures which I'm looking at. And then we come back in once yet again with the, the dark. to be black too because that is the fur forward fur so you can see that now 175 here but that is on the back burner so to speak doesn't mean to say you can't put black in you can be left with just a little bit of light on that edge and if it wasn't light enough it's quite easy just to bring down the two seventy to make it work but it will work I assure you. Now I'll fill that up with one seven five one seven five with a little bit of black on the back there. And then we'll move forward. We're nearly done, our uh, little baby bear. And it looks gorgeous. So all I, I'll do now is I just do a little titivation. I always just go back over it, making sure that it's as I want it to be. But that looks, it looks pretty good to me. I've given you all the important things. And um, I would probably be inclined to maybe just make as I said, put it down here. You can also put just a little bit of light grey in there, just to filter it through. But that looks really lovely. Let me just show you face on. <laughs> 